the third question from the whatsapp assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is sadiq i am a student from kolkata india my question is i invested money on a halal company's shares 3 months earlier but recently i checked that the company has become haram because interest bearing debt to total assets has exceeded to 43.7 five percent due to which the stock has become haram but previously the stock was halal what should i do the question posed by brother sadik that he invested in halal shares and maybe he has knowledge about how to invest in stock which are sharia compliant and when he invested and when he bought these shares three months earlier these shares were halal but now when he checked up he came to know that the interest bearing ratio or the debt ratio has increased to more than 43%, 43.75%. So now it's become haram, what should you do? First, if you have heard my answers on how do you come to know whether the, the stocks you are purchasing of a particular company shall be compliant or not, and there are five categories. The first is that the core activity should be halal and then you should see to it that they are not in, involved in any, any interest bearing activity as, as a as a company which is giving loan on interest etc then the cash and the debt ratio should be less and the any haram activity should be less than 5 percent these these were discussed in detail so the brother may have checked and he realized after three months that the debt ratio has increased to more than 43 percent and that makes the share haram. what should he do he should immediately sell the share sell the share and invest in a halal share but while investing see to it that there are two types of sharia compliant one is that the company itself has a sharia board and it is sharia compliant by nature by nature means it has a board so investing in sharia compliant shares which has a sharia board is the best and malaysia where i live there are many sharia compliant shares and it is there in the stock itself it mentioned Sharia compliant, halal, okay, not Sharia compliant. In India, there are very few, which are basically, which have a Sharia board, etc. Hardly any. But even if it doesn't have a Sharia board, it can be Sharia compliant by nature because it may not be a debt company, it may not be taking loans, the, the core activity may not be haram, it may be dealing with maybe pharmaceuticals. So by nature it can be. So some companies by nature, if they don't have a Sharia board also, it can remain halal but some company can keep on changing like the one you said you invest in a company and and that company has got involved into uh, debt you know so in this you have to keep on monitoring but the best is to invest in shares which has uh, invest in companies which are the sharia board the second best would be by nature if it's sharia compliant you know you, you know that the company will not involve in taking loans from the bank and by nature it is such a company it is a strong company it's a big company and it's involved in products which are uh, which are halal and then the third would be the company which which may keep on changing so it is preferable to avoid investing in companies which can change because you have to keep on monitoring and then if it's haram you have to sell it so why let you in, involve in investing even for a small period whether it be a month or whether it be a week so best is to involve in companies which have a sharia board as I mentioned, second best is by nature if it's Sharia compliant. But now the solution for you is that see to it to sell it immediately. If you want to continue investing in Sharia compliant shares, see to it that you invest in a company which has a Sharia board or by nature it is Sharia compliant. Hope that answers the question.